All right, so um, in this video, I'll be answering questions. Um, there were a lot of questions about Ben, so I'll do those towards the end. Um, he's not going to answer them, um, but hopefully I'm pretty accurate on answering them for him uh, based on what he's told me. So, um, so uh, one of the first questions was, okay, just making sure I didn't skip anything, was, um, are you excited? Were you surprised? So there's going to be a lot of overlap in some of these questions and videos I've done before. So I'll probably just link them also in this video so you can go watch those. Um, but yes, we were very excited because um, if you didn't know, we were trying and it took a year before I actually got pregnant. And so um, we were very excited. We weren't surprised. I mean, so when people ask the second question, were you surprised? It was like, was it an accident? And it, it wasn't. So we were happy. So some of the questions kind of related to this were like, were you, were you scared or like, were you worried? And I was like, no, cause we were trying. So, um, usually if you're trying, you're not, not, I, we were surprised. I was surprised that it finally happened, but you're not typically worried if you're trying to get pregnant on purpose. <laughs> so, um, we're super excited. Uh, we were excited when this question was asked to us, we were excited as soon as uh, I found out and when he found out. And um, it kind of helped uh, that our family knew we were trying because then everyone was really excited for us. Um, you know, there's a lot of support. No one was unsupportive because they knew we wanted to have a baby. Um, and of course, our parents were asking like as soon as we got married when their grandkid was coming. So um so we were we were excited we are excited and it's crazy because uh recording this i'm almost halfway which is it's just so crazy so um we're super excited and just so wild knowing that it doesn't even take a full year to make a baby like you can get pregnant give birth and have like a three month old within a year so uh it's just yeah four months or so there's gonna be a little little us hanging out with us, you know, with us and the dogs, <laughs> family of five. So, um, so yes, we're super excited. Um, how did I tell Ben? Um, I told him through a dessert plate. I didn't tell him right away. I covered this in the previous videos. And so I also made a reaction video and so I'll link that here. Um, yeah. Um, how did we tell our family? Um, I also talked about that in my first trimester video um, and I also have um, react a reaction video compilation um, of how we told everybody. Not everyone was together when we told them and we didn't want to wait to tell everybody um, in our family so um, there's like separate videos of that and then of course we told like grand grandparents um, before the public announcement too. We told grandparents like best friends um, like I'm really close to my cousins, so I, I told my cousins, um, and so that will be in that reaction video, um, and you can see, but if you have questions, like if you watch the video and you're not sure what's happening in the video, then let, let me know and I'll clarify. Um, and then how did I announce? So, um, I should have probably put a picture of this in, but, um, if you saw it, then you know that we announced through a picture with our dogs, um, and the uh the dogs actually oh no i can't i'm recording just this tab so if i pull up a picture it's not going to show that um so pretty much so we have a really old dog lamont he is 15 16 um and we put so he's in diapers if you, <laughs> you didn't know he's incontinent so we put a sign on him that says not going to be the only one in diapers and then we got a dog recently in April, so um, she'll technically be the middle child when we have our baby. So her sign said the middle child, and we posted a picture with them. Um, are the dogs happy and do they care? Um, so, all right, so if there's like a weird pause or break in the video, it's because Ben came home and it was going to be loud. So. I am continuing. Um, so yeah, are the dogs happy? Do they care? Um, I don't know if they even know that I'm pregnant, but um, one of the signs they said your animals might show is like they can be really clingy or they can be um, they can be like naughty. And we got Cinder in April 
and she's been pretty good in the house. Like she hasn't had an accident. Um, but the week before or the week of the miss period, I got or not I got. Um, we woke up and I can't remember if we woke up or if it was while we were still awake. She um peed in the closet, um, which was really weird. And so we were wondering if that might have been like her sensing there was something different and acting out. Um, Lamont is super old, so I don't know if he even has a clue. Um, then I don't know, they both seem to get a little clingier, but not really sure if they know. Um, so I wonder if when my belly gets bigger and when it moves, if they're gonna really know by then. And then, um, do you have cravings is a question I get a lot. So I did not. I never really got cravings. I've always loved, like, stereotypical Asian foods like rice and noodles, um, and um, I love fruit. Like, if you know me, I love fresh fruit, and that didn't go away. And I never got any like cravings for anything different. I did get aversions though, so there's a lot of food that I did not want to even like touch, like fried food, heavy meats, or like sugars. Um, any processed sugars smelled like chemicals, um, and tasted like medicine if I, like, ate anything. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, no cravings. I mean, I'm sure some can pop up because in the second trimester you get a lot hungrier, and I've noticed that because pretty much the baby has everything it needs. It's just growing now, and so as it grows, I'm gonna starve <laughs> they just get hungrier than usual and so um i'm sure things will pop up um morning sickness i did not get morning sickness i got just nausea i don't know like i didn't throw up um but i it and so like morning sickness is like a myth so you can get it any time of the day you can get it all day you can get it part of the day um but i got mine Mine was kind of more in the morning um, when I noticed I was hungry. Um, so like eating helps, uh, drinking water, obviously laying down, just taking it easy. But um, yeah, I definitely got nauseous, but I never threw up or anything. Um, and this didn't happen till like the end of my first trimester. It wasn't like the whole first trimester. It has gone away. It's not as bad as it used to, but I hear by like 20 weeks, by halfway that it'll be a lot better. Um, so, well, my uncle asked me this, so he's okay to ask me. Um, he said, are you getting fat? Um, no, actually, <laughs> um, I definitely have, like, gained weight, um, and I feel, like, fuller, if that makes sense. I feel, like, filled out in some places, um, but, um, I was working out in the beginning, and the fatigue, like, made it impossible to do anything, and then I've been working out recently, which makes me feel better, not just like energy wise, but um, there's so many things, so many benefits to working out that are going to help you with like the delivery and labor process and the recovery process too. So if your body's kind of used to being put under that stress of exercise and then recovering from it, um, that can be more helpful than like someone who doesn't do any type of activity with their body and then gives birth because that's a lot of work, a lot of strain on your body. So hopefully um, working out is not just good for like during my pregnancy, but for that very end piece and the recovery process. Um, my feet are not swelling. Um, I'm not getting signs of any of that. Um, I hear there's different reasons why someone's feet may swell too. So it's not a, it's not like a universal symptom for pregnant women. So um, I don't have whatever would cause my feet to swell. So my feet and hands are not swelling, at least not right now. They definitely could later on. Um, are the grandparents happy? So I'm not sure if you mean like grandparents as in the baby's grandparents, like our parents, they definitely are. Um, grandparents, like our grandparents, so the baby's great grandparents, um, I think definitely too. They just are, um, it's not new for them. They are both both sets of grandparents. So, um, like my my, uh, I'm not gonna do the family tree thing right now. But 
um, our grandparents, the baby's great grandparents, it's not their first like rodeo with um, having great grandkids, but I know that they're very happy for us. Um, have you started saving for college? Um, honestly, um, not exclusively like for college, but um, like ever since me and Ben got married, like any type of like increase in income, we have put it towards savings or use it to like pay off something. Um, so we're kind of like just living off of what we, how we started our living, like based off that um, income. And then anything that we've um, done to increase our income, we don't really see it in a sense because we save it or put it towards paying off um, whatever, like a car or put it towards um, you know, like retirement or um, like we both have our student loans paid off. We had them paid off a while ago. We have one of our cars paid off. So um, we're kind of like living off of the income we started with. Um, and I'm sure that's going to help with the college process. <laughs> but um, definitely like when we have birthday parties, I want to make that an option for people to give to um, our baby's college fund. Um, have you picked your crib or color scheme? So we actually got a crib for free from our neighbor. She told us, like, as soon as she found out. Oh, the cat, that's my dog. Hacking in the background. My old 16-year-old. It's going to be, it sounds so gross. Uh, it's going to be too much work to, like, edit that out, so I'm just not. Um, so Abby picked your crib. Yes, our neighbor gave us a free one. She said, she had gotten it for her newest baby or her like youngest child and they ended up just using the same old one um and they're going to donate it so they gave it to us and then it's brown which is like it's like a dark brown which is perfect because um we didn't really have a color scheme we didn't want to have a baby room because we need both our guest rooms with our families um um so we needed a guest bed still in each room we didn't want to like totally empty one out and turn it into a nursery so um i have a picture on the next slide uh of it but the room's kind of like cream cream themed like cream colored and like um brown and tan and um what's it called um <laughs> oh my gosh my dog is making so much noise lamont come here hey he's deaf too so i have to like snap at him hey come here come here you're ruining my video <laughs> Come here, be in the video. You're gonna be annoying. Might as well. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, um, the color scheme is like brown and tan, and then like my baby showers have like a greenery, like a, uh, like plants theme, I guess, to it because of where the wild things are. My first baby shower is like a classy where the wild things are, um, and so we're gonna. You can decorate the room with that. So just think like tan, earthy, succulents, stuff like that. Um, so we just kind of kept the guest bed and kind of worked around that. So um, this was the only way that the um, crib would fit without it touching the bed. <laughs> we tried to just center the bed against a wall, but there's no way for the crib to fit anywhere without it literally like touching the bed. Um, and then those two cube shelves we already had, they were both um, vertical. And so we could save room. We don't want to buy a diaper changing table. And so we just turn one sideways and obviously all the knickknacks you see, they won't be there, but um, we put a diaper changing mat, mattress or pad on there um, and just change our baby there. Um, and then the closet is, on the right side, the sliding closet. And so we empty that out and use it for just baby stuff. Um, so yeah, the room kind of already has its own little theme. We're not gonna like overdo anything. Plus our baby's not gonna know anything about the room. <laughs> they're not gonna remember anything. And then they'll get to an age where they're gonna wanna pick out what they want. So we're not, we're not doing anything too crazy. Um, is it a boy or girl or are you going to find out? Um, Lamont, Lamont, hey, hey, come here, yeah, yeah, so. come here, oh my gosh, okay, he's making this, 
complicated. Um, okay. <laughs> well, Mom, you're really ruining this video. Yeah. You are. Um, so is it a boy or girl? We don't know yet. It's also kind of early. We didn't do the um, like chromosomal testing, and if we did, we could have found out the gender early, but um, my dad's always wanted to throw the gender reveal a certain way, so um, we're going to technically find out at 20 weeks, but not have it known to us like it's going to be written down, and then we'll give the envelope to my dad, and he'll kind of set up a, a gender reveal. Um, so... I mean, the next two questions are kind of connected. Um, people always ask us, like, what do we want? And we used to always say boy because everyone says, like, boys are easy, easygoing. Um, and then, you know, like, obviously there's so many perks to having a girl as well. Uh, but we always kind of, like, talked about boy. And then it kind of shifted because we have family. Like, my brother-in-law, um, their first kid is a, was a girl, is a girl. And she's adorable and so cute and sweet and um then my my cousin so like my goddaughter she is a girl and she's she's such a good baby and um she's so cute too and then um we have a friend um who has a daughter already and she's like older you know like she's not like a baby or anything but she's so witty and so funny and and smart and you know like really if our kids like her like that'd be cool. Like, she's pretty cool. So now we really don't care. Like we know we'll be happy with either. And we knew we would always be happy with either, but, um, now like we, yeah, like either one's going to be super exciting. Like we don't have like a dread for one or the other. We're, we're really excited for whichever one it'll be. But a lot of people think it's going to be a boy, like a lot. <laughs> and my husband thinks it's, it's going to be a boy. And I literally have no hunch of what I think it would be. Um, and then are you going to do a gender reveal? So it kind of only works out like schedule wise for our immediate families because we're just going to do like our parents and siblings for the uh, get together with them for the gender reveal. Um, my dad's going to put it together and it's going to involve, if you know my family and my husband's family, it's going to involve um, like guns and tannerite. So like exploding things. So like a powder will explode and it'll be like the color that's associated with the gender of our baby you know blue or pink um so we won't know till then and like the best time for us to um all get together would be like a couple days before christmas and so that's actually when we're gonna find out so like we'll have the results on november 1st but we won't know till um like a couple days before christmas and we're actually gonna have a baby shower, I think, like a little after Thanksgiving, so we won't know the, the gender at that, but that's okay. It'll be really fun. Um, we've been asked um, doctor or midwives. Um, so I chose midwives. Um, I noticed, I don't know, it sounds kind of messed up, but like <laughs> looking at like all the doctors and midwives, there is just like the doctors were older, which means they're like more experienced. And then they're all males, and there's just something like appealing about the young midwives um and they're more flexible from what i've heard um so like for your for what you want for birth or whatever um what they can do for you is easier to work with than like maybe with a doctor and what's nice is with a midwife um you can see multiple and so you can get to know more than one person and so the day that you go into labor you're definitely gonna be um the person that's going to be delivering your baby is someone you should know already where as a doctor you probably you might like meet a bunch of people but you only see like one doctor technically um or you might not get to know your doctor if you're seeing a bunch um but then it's not guaranteed that they're going to be available on the day you um go into labor so i just thought it would be really comfortable and nice like getting to know these midwives and then having one of them so we're seeing two having one of them be there to deliver our baby. Um, definitely going to give birth in a hospital. Like I know home birth sounds appealing to some people, but that does not sound appealing <laughs> to us, <laughs> to me at least. Um, for the home birth, like if you know our dogs, like 
Lamont would probably be barking at everyone. <laughs> and then um, Cinder would probably like, I don't like if we were like in a pool or whatever, she'd probably try to get in and like hang out and that would not be comfortable. Um, the closest hospitals are 45 minutes away, um, but everyone in this town has given birth when in one or the other town. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, but hopefully I'm not like giving birth in a car. <laughs> Um, epidural or no. So before I even tried, I always thought that I'd want to like be on drugs because I was scared of the pain. But then I started reading about people's experiences with epidurals. And like, obviously, a lot of people were glad they, they um, had an epidural. But there's so many women that talked about like, how painful it was just getting the epidural. And also like the after effects, like, to this day, they still have like a like a painful sensation, or I don't know what you call it, like but pain where the epidural was um, like put into their spine. And then I also heard because with an epidural, obviously you're getting numb, and it can prolong your labor by like 20 minutes because you don't have full control over muscles, and so you can actually take longer to give birth because you don't you don't have full control of how hard you're pushing because you can't feel it. Um, and then a lot of people say the epidural hurt more than when they gave a natural birth. So I don't know. Um, and then what was another thing? Um, yeah. Some people talked about getting an epidural and having it like wear off before they had to push anyway. So it didn't really matter. Um, but I hear it's, it is nice for those contractions. My cousin said personally that she thought like the contractions were so painful that pushing actually felt great. So maybe you'd want like a low dose for contractions, but I'm thinking I'm going to go natural, but we'll see. I'm not like, I know birth plans can change. And so I'm keeping that in mind that I can want something and it's not going to happen and I can like make it happen as much as I want to, but if I decide last minute that I want one, like, then I'm going to get one. So, yeah, we'll see. Someone said, how do you manage to look so awesome when you're pregnant? Um, well, when she asked this, I probably wasn't even showing it. But actually, um, like, I'm really skinny and, like, self-conscious about that. And honestly, like, after, like, getting pregnant and, like, kind of filling out more in some places, I feel better um so maybe that's why maybe I'm like happy about like not being so skinny like I'm still skinny but I don't know that might be why I'm glowing or whatever <laughs> how do you feel how are you feeling um right now good all the first trimester symptoms are gone but I do get headaches um pretty frequently but my midwife said that should go away pretty soon since I'm almost halfway um other than that, good. I started working out again. Um, so, yeah. And then am I going to stay home? Um, so, yeah, actually, like, I work from home already. And so my work's going to be really flexible, and I'll probably just cut my hours. Because um, being mom is a full-time job. But um, I'm going to obviously take maternity leave. And then I'll probably start working again, little by little. And probably my first year, I'll probably not work 40 hours a week like I currently do um but yeah I'm gonna stay home with our kids and probably we want to have two at least for now um and so we know like maybe when they're old enough to go to school that I'd start teaching back in like a brick and mortar school as well so we can have the same schedule and everything um we do have names picked out but we're not obviously set on them and we're gonna spend more time on that when we actually know the gender, but we do have ones we like for a girl and a boy. So if you want to know, just ask, because I don't know, I don't want to put them out there. And a lot of people ask, what if you have twins? So pretty sure our ultrasound has always shown one fetus and it still does. And um, so I don't think we're going to have twins. <laughs> and I always get asked if well, not always, like recently, just because I'm showing more now, almost halfway. Um, I'm glad people ask, though. So that's just one thing. Like, I probably won't mind, especially if I know you. 
but just make sure you ask because it's kind of weird if I don't know you and you want to touch my belly. That hasn't happened yet, but I hear, I hear that happens a lot. Um, so I'll probably do a separate video for this because um, this one's already pretty long, but I'll answer some questions that people had about Ben in another video. So yeah, let me know if you have questions, leave me a comment, or just message me.